pleasure once again to introduce uh, the chairman of the Icelandic Independence Party and after uh, 11 months our next Prime Minister. No pressure, is there? <laughs> <laughs> After, first of all, uh, congratulations on the English publishing of, of your good book. Um, I'd like to start by saying that I believe that it is because of the great effort that people like Hadler have put into the discussion on Iceland and the European Union uh, in the last two years that um, there has been a great turnaround in uh, public opinion towards the matter. Uh, that is also true because of what is happening in Europe. And I must say that it is uh, with great pleasure that I come to this house to meet uh, uh, with Hadler and all the people that are here to listen to the kinds of arguments we just heard, uh, which tell such a big story about what it means to be inside and we too seldom hear about up in Iceland. We have a very peculiar political situation in Iceland where there is no, uh, there is no true will behind the application which was put forward in 2009. <coughs> Nevertheless, the government just continues and we now have a situation where, where Iceland is the one EFTA nation out of the ones that are in the European economic area which has been in the longest dialogue for entering into the European Union. And we still haven't come to any negotiation conclusions on so many chapters. We also have a very special situation, I believe, in that at the same time in Iceland there is a stro very strong demand for more direct democracy, where people want to have a say on big things on their own, where we have had a number of <coughs> referendums in the last, uh, let's say, eight years, we've had three big referendums, twice actually on the ISIL dispute, which uh, involves Britain as well, but nevertheless, this is what is happening in Iceland. People are asking to have more control over their own matters, not only in the munis municipalities, but also on a larger scale. And in the European Union, the opposite is happening. So it is, in my mind, a very peculiar thing actually that we have a government which is asked to go in where democracy is, is, uh, is being trampled upon almost in comparison to what the people of Iceland are asking for today. So uh, once again, Hadler, congratulations on, the, on, the, on this English translation and uh, I, think, I think it is very fit and proper that we are here today to, to celebrate with you and I want to thank you for the opportunity to come and, and uh, uh, be here uh, amongst uh, this great group. Um, we we'll see how things will carry forward but I, I no doubt you have already told people here that as things stand today I think there is a uh, very very little chance that the people of Iceland will want to join at the end of the day. If if the negotiations will ever be concluded. But uh, there is, and that, that I, I, I truly mean that, I'm not sure that the negotiations will ever be concluded. Um, but there's one thing I, I, I sort of miss, that is for um, people with the experience that you have here to come up to Iceland as well and tell us a, a, a part of the story that, that you have to tell. So, that's all I have to say today. I just uh, don't want to keep people from the drinks any longer. <laughs> I can see that people are staring <laughs> at that. And uh, again, Jan Christian, Hadler, everybody, congratulations. Thanks very much, Mr. Chairman. Uh, we have decided to book these two gentlemen on the same flight next year. <laughs> Saying that, uh, thanks for coming here and, and, and see us. We'll be back, as, as the eternal words of Arnold Schwarzenegger, we'll be back. But there are drinks 
and the back and and please uh, mingles and and thanks very much for this very pleasant afternoon thank you